I have the solution to all of our problems. You do? I do. Church Teams. What's Church Teams? It's management software. They have a 30-day free trial that lets us try it before we sign up. They've got a ton of teaching materials we can go through, and they even have a day-by-day walkthrough. So this can help us with all of our growth challenges? Yep. Like knowing all of the members we have now? Sure thing. Our people data is covered. Church Teams even gives us the ability to create individual profiles for each of our members. Nice. Plus a ton of other features. Okay, what about when we need to schedule groups? Groups are taken care of too. I like that. What about when we need to check people in? Done. Checked in on the spot. Parents can even text to check in. Text to check in? I like it. I like that a lot. Okay, so what about when we need to keep tabs on all of our volunteers? We have to recruit them, we have to train them, schedule them, send them reminders. That's a lot easier with church teams. I just set up the team, invite them to serve, and it automatically sends them reminders. We can even see who's scheduled for which event or day. Speaking of that, how about events? I'm guessing... Yep, all of our events can be scheduled through church teams. Not only that, our members can pay at the same time that they sign up. It's one less step for us. People can even text to register more texting. This is amazing. This sounds like a really great tool. What else can we use some help in? How about giving? I was just about to say that. Not only can it be done online and by text, donations are automatically imported and accounted for. You'll know exactly where we're at with weekly, monthly, and yearly reports. Oh, wow. This church team is a really powerful tool. I mean, I can totally understand how it's going to save us a ton of administrative time, but transferring all of our data over to a new system sounds kind of hard. Church Teams handles all the data migration for us. So we can't mess it up. Exactly. Okay, I like it. Let's get it set up. Speaking of our people data, the mission trip to South America is coming up and we could use somebody that knows how to manage construction. I know, Jeff Jacobson. He owns his own construction company. He's a real outdoorsy kind of guy. He'd be perfect. Wait, you're thinking of Jeff Weaver. I am. You are. Look, I'm using church teams right now. All our member data that was scattered all over the place is now together. Family info, interests, notes, each of our members, all their information, all in one convenient place. Let me show you something. Take a look at this. All information comes into our church in a number of ways. People can sign up through text message, email, registration form online, a registration card on the bulletins, or when they check in their kids. With all the ways that people can enter their information, for our church, it was a challenge to get that all in one place. Church Teams does that for us easily. With Church Teams, we can communicate back to each of our members through automated responses, through text message and email. What type of information can be sent out to our members? Well, for starters, we can organize groups of members and send out schedule notifications through text and email. Jeff Weaver, does he have a profile? Take a look, Jeff Weaver. He's in construction and he's got his own company. Huh, wow, what a big improvement. So wait, if Jeff Weaver is in construction, what exactly does Jeff Jacobson do? He's a rhythmics gymnastics coach, you know, with the ribbons. Oh, yeah, not quite the skill set I was thinking of out in the jungle probably more useful for our Christmas show and other events. Mm. We need to start planning our Christmas event. I'm already getting it into church teams with all the details. Okay, that's good, because I like to have all that stuff taken care of well ahead of time. Um, oh, what about, uh, do we have some extra seats for the parents night out at the ballpark? I talked to the Tuckers and they actually have some time to go. We have two seats open. Wow, that was fast. You're, you're sure? Checked on the status just this morning. Church Teams counts down the number of spots open in an event as people register. Church Teams gives us a lot of easy access to group information. More importantly, our members are able to see details about the group. Who's in the group, when the group meets, where the group meets. Well, we know why the group meets, but now we know the who, the why, the where, the when, and how they meet though is Church Teams. Pastor, your sense of humor is a bit of a stretch at times. But come on, church teams isn't a stretch. It actually makes it easy for everybody. Now everyone can see all the details about any event we have going on at our church. I mean, you can even look it up on your own without having to ask me. What fun would that be if I wasn't constantly asking you questions? I could focus on a couple of the other things we talked about to make our church better. Okay, well, that's great. You know, it's finally nice to have the Tuckers out at an event. I'll just tell them to bring some cash or check. Why? They can just pay now using church teams at the same time that they register and reserve a seat on the bus. 
Now I know the Tuckers are always in a hurry, as usual, uh, so let them know that they don't have to set up an account. We already have their information in our system. Payments are now a lot easier with Church Teams. How is that? Well, no matter the device someone is using, it makes it really easy for them to pay for a church conference or a special event, like the baseball event. So are there other ways people can pay? Yes, Church Teams now offers text for giving, and it's so easy to use. Okay, I know you probably have this all figured out, but do we have enough volunteers for the kids while the parents are at the ballpark? Do we have enough people to handle it? All set. I used church teams. Sure did. When I recruited the volunteers, it automatically scheduled and sent a reminder. I just set it up and let it do the work for me. Volunteers are easily identified using church teams. We can take a look at all of our members and see the ones we already have a background check on. Hmm. So then how do we contact them? Like I said before, Church Teams makes this really easy. When we set up an event, depending on the event type, it will directly notify those members who like to volunteer for services, media, events, whatever we need a volunteer for. When I set up the schedule for volunteers, I was able to send both a text and an email with a link, with the invitation for them to serve, and they could either accept or decline. And it's not just one opportunity at a time. I was able to schedule our first week of the month nursery workers for the next four months. It automatically sends them a reminder the week before. It's awesome. You can use our text to church number to check and update your volunteer schedule, to see a directory, manage a group if you're a group leader, and even update your information. But wait, there's more. The volunteers are also using church teams to check in the kiddos as they get dropped off. Huh, I like that. Yes, they'll literally have a name tag printed for them at the door as they get there. Our kiosks are directly tied into church teams. They'll enter their information, and then a badge is printed for the kids, and a claim number is printed for the parents. Um, you know what we should do, though? We need to send a note out to all the people going out to the ball game tonight to remind them to bring sunscreen and a hat, because it's still going to be pretty hot outside. Done. Here's how church teams makes it really easy for us to let everyone in the group know that they should probably bring a hat and plenty of sunscreen. We just go into the dashboard and select the group that's going to the game. From there, we type in a message. We're excited to see everyone at the game, and it's gonna be sunny, so they may wanna bring a hat and sunscreen. With that done, we click send, and church teams will send a text or an email to each member of the group. Wow. Yep, I used Group Finder to send it not only to the group going, but also to the leader of the parents group. This has been a really productive day. I mean, we've got all this done before the afternoon. This is gonna really improve our workflow. It's great. Now, what else is on our to-do list? Well, we need to check the building funds to see how the givings are coming. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, Dr. Jones, may I have that? Here, welcome back to the future. You can use Church Teams on your laptop, your tablet, or your phone. And the Church Teams portal for giving is user-friendly and completely customizable. Oh. People can even text their donation. It shows up immediately on their giving record, and it's deposited into our checking account two days later. Giving is now a lot easier with Church Teams. To give, people just go to their text to church number and put in the keyword give to set up their account. After that, they can put in an amount and it'll go directly to our general funds. Or they can put in an amount and use a keyword like missions to send that amount to another designation. So how does that work? Well, if someone forgets the keywords, they can use help or question mark. So what if Jeff wants to dance when he's giving? <laughs> I mean, I suppose Jeff could do that. Uh, it's so super easy to use. I'm really excited to see how it, you know, helps our giving. And maybe we can get that new coffee machine. Wow, that saves us a ton in administrative time. We can set reports to let us know exactly where we're at, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Because members can set up recurring donations and it's so easy to use. Means giving increases. Yes, sir. And even more convenient, we can do away with the contribution statements we send out to members each year. Oh yeah? Good, because that was a lot of envelope. And time. Instead, we can email it out in a matter of minutes, or they can log on and download their giving statement online anytime they want. And this is all safe? Completely encrypted. You know what? You're right. I love church teams. This is gonna save us a ton in administrative time and money. Wait. Getting all the info into church teams sounds pretty hard. 
I mean, we've got to transfer all the data over to a new system and then we've got to train people on how to do it. And then we've got to take care of all, <sighs> I need help. It's a daunting thing to do. Good thing church teams had a skilled team to handle all of that for us. With all of the different ways that we take in our people data, church team support staff shows us how to integrate everything into their system. They have a step-by-step -step process that takes all of our people data in and imports it into their system. Still sounds like a lot of work to do. It's a lot to do, but church teams, they walk us through every single step. We just have to export our data to a CSV format and send it to church teams. Is that it? Church Teams matches up all of the data, and then they make sure each field has a place in Church Teams. They just match and import. I'm sure we have some members that are in the system more than once. I'm sure you're right about that. Church Teams has the tools to find and merge duplicates. And if they have any questions about the information we've provided, they ask to make sure it's correct. It only takes a few days, and Church Teams handles everything needed when it comes to migrating our information into their system, plus any training we needed. That way, we didn't have a major interruption in our main responsibility, our members. Exactly.